it, we are harvesting rainwater, boy. The worst Kevin can do to me is this. <laughs> Actually, it's quite bad. Kevin vented into the house, gone anime. Karen and Kevin come into my home for dinner. Come marching home. What's up, all you epic Fortnite, Minecraft, Imposter, Moga, Sus, Fortnite, RuneScape? Whoa! Who's this handsome little sussy baka in my room? Could it be that Kevin perhaps shrunk himself in order to get behind enemy lines to attack me? <laughs> I don't think so, sir! Eaves from the vine falling so slow like fragile tiny shells drifting in the foam. Little soldier boy, come marching home. Brave soldier boy comes marching home. Hello, Kevin. That's a small version of you. Isn't that neat, sir? <laughs> what are you doing? Coming up to give me a little kiss? <laughs> Whoa, whirlwind, 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 whirlwind. <gasps> Push. Kevin, back up. Kevin, hey. How about you back up, sir? Oh, my gosh. You're not going to follow me. You're not going to follow me. You're not going to do it. You won't do it. You're way too scared, Kevin. You don't have the nad to come into my home, my turf. Stay where you are. I'm gonna blow the air horn. Kevin, you wanna come in or are you just gonna stand there being all menacing? Look how convicted he is. Yeah, he's like, nope. No, I don't, I don't wanna do that. Leaves from the vine falling so slow like fragile tiny shell drifting in the foam. See how fast he goes from being like totally evil to to come on in. We're back at the Urban Rescue Ranch and today Pog and I are gonna be watching dream videos on the YouTube. Whoa, is that me in the top of bird? That looks like a great video. I might have to watch it later. <laughs> Karen and Kevin come into my home for dinner. Come on, Kevin, can you make it? Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. he's in here. Now this is epic. What are you doing, sir? Kevin, are you being a sussy baka again? Augers, you know what we do to people in this house that are sussy bakas. <laughs> we give them kisses. <laughs> we're gonna have them in for drinks, then we're gonna have dessert. Let me turn some of the lights on, you guys. I'll open the door for Karen. <laughs> Excuse me. Karen, come on in, hon. Here are my manners. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on these lights so we can get things, uh... <laughs> the mood going, I suppose. Maybe we can watch a little YouTube, play a little Minecraft. I'm surprised that Karen hasn't come in yet. Oh, looks like she's coming. Kevin vented into the house. Saucy, gone back up. Kevin vented into the house, gone anime. Ah, uh, he wanted to go back outside. I'm gonna go ahead and get those other adorable little babies and put them outside as well. Karen, my beautiful wife, I love you and I miss you. Chickens kind of want to come inside too. Maybe I'll have to let them. As, as you can tell, this is a speed run video. We're gonna speed run our farm chores as fast as we can. Would you guys take a look at this adorable, beautiful little creature? These are my favorite rat type because they're so good at pecking things. Watch this. It seems like the Rhea are a lot more uh, hand-eye coordinated or mouth-eye coordinated, you could say, than the ostrich. They're a lot less angry than the emus and a lot safer because they're so tiny. Look how small she is. I am 6'2", and Karen is probably about, when she's not stretched up, she's probably about four foot something. Kevin is about five foot something. When he's stretched up, he's about six foot something. As you can see, the worst Kevin can do to me is this. <laughs> that actually is quite bad. That hurts quite a bit, sir. Please back up. But don't, I'm not gonna push him because I don't want him to hit the kids. The big thing I'll say though is that my favorite thing about these adorable Rias is that their bodies are shaped like little lemons. Even Kevin, who's a grown man, is shaped like a big lemon. Kevin just showed aggression to the baby and these guys. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and push him back. Wait, wait a minute. Is that hit rapper and artist DeBaber? Do you have some dirt on you, sir? Did you get all dirty over there? He got all dirty over in the corner. Oh, he's so dirty. Look how cute he is. And look at the baby Kevin. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start hurting these guys over now. Olive's enclosure has been breached. No, no, I'm gonna just slap you. Back up. Oh, look at these adorable babies. Look at these adorable, get out. She turned on me. If you hold them at the base enough, they won't get you. Watch this. Ah, never mind. Never mind. Oh my gosh, that hurts a ton. That hurts a ton. That hurts a ton. Oh my gosh. 
gosh. That's a bad one. Brave soldier boy. Check this out, guys. Okay, so I really underestimated how much water was actually in this thing, and it's super, super dangerous for me to even sit under there, let alone for these little chickens to be under here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try something new. Check this out, Minecraft pranksters. I'm gonna go ahead and poke a hole at the bottom part. Right there. With a nice little hole right there. Maybe I'll poke another one. I'll poke two. All right. I'm just gonna put this right under here. That bad boy's gonna fill right up. Now I also need to plug this little hole under here, but I don't really wanna sit under there to do it because I still think this is kind of dangerous. So I'm just gonna go ahead and not. But we are harvesting rainwater, boy. Yeah, that's right. Here at the Urban Rescue Ranch, Uncle Ben is based and rainwater harvesting pilled. Look at all these adorable children. That one's my favorite right there. You see that one? The one that's like, kind of like an Oreo. See them? Oh, my pigeons. Hello. Hello, children. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some of these guys because we're running low on food. Just kidding, I've made the executive decision that I'm going to go ahead and rehome these guys a lot sooner than I thought. This is one of Nugget's sons. Look at this really cool looking guy. Baby Kevin really likes the chickens and he really vibes with all the animals. Baby Karens really want to stay with their parents. Kevin has already kind of adopted them today. It's really neat. Oh, is that the hit rapper and artist, Nate Dog? The baby Karens and the baby Kevins, they're all hanging out over there and it's really cool to see Kevin over there because in the wild, the Kevins will actually protect the babies. Matter of fact, once the rayas actually hatch out their own eggs and the males are the ones that incubate the eggs, they will protect the babies and they'll even scare away the females from the babies to protect them. And the babies will follow their dads around for miles, just grazing, looking for little bugs, but mostly eating grass. What's cool is when Kevin was just a little baby, he was only with chickens. So he kind of bonded to those chickens. But old Uncle Ben's gonna need a thumbnail if we don't have one already, so. Kevin, I have a knife, sir. <laughs> Look how sweet these little babies are walking around with him. I'm gonna go ahead and lay a, a more shallow feed dish or a water dish so that these little guys could drink. This water dish is fine, but I'm really afraid that some of the little guys might end up falling in it and then drowning. I don't worry about that with the ducks, but I do worry about that with this little tiny, tiny chick here. I'm gonna lay out a few more waters. So I'm pretty sure that this isn't a Muscovy duck. This could actually be one of the Duncan duck. The reason why I think that is because you look at all their feet and then this one's the only one with an orange bill and orange feet. This was the first duckling we hatched too, which is why I think that it might've been a call duck. And there was one other thing I wanted to show you guys. Vinny actually made a little hidey hole in the hay. So look at little Vinny. Oh, look at this little guy. Have you guys ever watched The Office? <laughs> hay place, very fun. Hey queen. And she's actually loving this little area. This is a perfect little place for her. Her entire little house and tunnel and shelter here is made entirely of food. And believe it or not, Vinny can actually get up to the top of this thing. I've seen her do it a couple times. This is quite possibly the best enclosure for one single rabbit that anyone has ever made, ever. Poppy is still completely missing an AWOL, but uh, I leave these lights on all night and Poggers is out here most nights. So I always just peek through my window. Because anytime I hear them going beep, 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 and I'm in my bed, I'll just peek out the window. And if I see Poppy or any other predator coming out at them, I will literally open the window and just jump out in the middle of the night. Oh, look at this. And this guy is already drained almost completely. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the top on. Check this out, guys. I didn't even have to plug this thing. I'm just gonna go ahead. Seems a bit pretty cool to me. As cool as it's gonna get with all that water coming out the back. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this. Oh, the one thing that sucks is that the water's really hot. That doesn't really matter though all that much. I guess the last thing I'll do is harvest one more bowl for these guys over here. Perfect, wonderful. Pretty neat though, guys, pretty neat. All right, love you guys, appreciate you. And I'll see you in the, whoa, this is Nugget's son too. Look at this. Hey.